Today we're going to take a different approach to foam rolling. Rather than just go for sore spots, we're actually going to have this improve our postural alignment, our structure, if you will. And how do we do that? Well, we can simply go with the hunt, search and destroy method, like a lot of people do, looking for the tender spots. But, you know, we've got 635 muscles in the body. It's going to take a long time if we're going to be doing a lot of hunting there. So instead, we're going to use foot pressure. Putting the foam roll aside for a moment, you're just going to take your shoes off and you can have your socks or be barefoot. You're going to find a level piece of ground in which you can just stand in a relaxed posture. I want you to home in on where is it that you feel the pressure in the base of your feet. Do you feel as if there's more pressure on one foot than the other? Do you feel as if there's more pressure toward the forefeet or is it more back into your heels? Do you feel as if there is perhaps more pressure on the front of one foot and the heel of the other? All of this is important information telling you where your mass of your body is unconsciously being shifted in order to try and keep you balanced. Now, we know that as the skeleton pushes in one direction, we're going to have tissue opening up on that side. Meanwhile, the muscle tissue on the opposite side is closing up, kind of passively shortening, almost like a window shade being drawn up. As I drive toward the other side, now this area is being stretched out, as if I'm pushing fingers through a latex balloon. You'll see that area stretch. Meanwhile, the other side also would be shortening, just like as if I went in the opposite direction. Now, if I were to drive forward, muscles on the forward side are being lengthened. If my hips go back, muscles on the back side. Now, when this tissue gets lengthened or shortened, the level of circulation diminishes. We typically want that Goldilocks place where we're neither too far to the left too far to the right, too far forward, too far back, too much rotation to the right or too much rotation to the left. All of these are going to allow our tissue to have to respond, either lengthening in one area or shortening. So we can use this foam roll in a way of mapping out the body based on where our foot pressure is and target the areas that are either too long and have diminished circulation or too short and also have diminished circulation. It's kind of a coin toss. For right now, we'll just kind of focus on the shortened muscles. So, as you stand there, homing in on where the pressure is in your feet, if you feel more weight going toward the left side of your body, you can try and roll out the shortened muscles on the outside of your right hip. Now also, the muscles on the inside of your left thigh are getting shorter because the hip is pulling over the knee. Now, if you feel pressure on the outside or toward the right foot, it's just going to be the opposite. Try and roll out the muscles tissue down the outside of this hip and the inner thigh of the right leg. If you feel like there's pressure going forward toward the ball of your foot, you may want to try rolling out the back side of your body. And if you feel pressure more in the heels, right into the hip flexors and down into the quadriceps and the front compartment of the pelvis may be a good place to start. Once you've rolled through those for maybe a few passes in each area, then walk around for a second, come back and check in on your foot pressure. Has it changed? Do we feel difference? Whether or not you're more balanced, that would be cool, but all we're looking for is a change. Because if you stay fixated with your structure in one position, you're going to be forced to create compensatory patterns. Ultimately, we're trying to get everyone back to center where joints and muscles function at their optimal best. Chiropractors know it, body workers and acupuncturists know it. That is the foundation of most of their approaches, is to bring the body back to center. So on your next workout, you're going to take the foam roll and before just jumping down and hitting the same old spots that never seem to change, we're going to try and do something a little bit more powerful. And that is affect your structure so that the joints and muscles function better. Good luck.